In this problem, we're told a 777 aircraft has a mass of 300,000 kilograms. At a certain instant during its landing, its speed is 27 meters per second. If the braking force is 435,000 newtons, how much further does it travel along the runway before it comes to a stop? So what we want to do first is just draw what's going on. So we have this plane, it's basically on the ground now, and we know it's traveling 27 meters per second. We know it's going to have some force going against it, right? That's going to be a braking force, right? That's... Uh, 435,000 newtons. So we know F, the force is 435,000 newtons, and then it's going to travel along and slow down because we have a force acting in this direction. And then we know the plane here is going to be at zero meters per second, right, at some point. And we're trying to find basically how far it's going to travel in this time, or how far it's going to travel. So how do we do this? So let's just first look at what we're given. So we have the mass of our object, and we have the force. And so when they give you a mass and a force, what that keys me into is uh, Newton's second law, which is force equals mass times acceleration. So somehow we're going to need, or we're going to solve for the acceleration. Also, what keys me in on that is we have the initial velocity, we have the final velocity, and we have delta, or, and we're solving for delta x. So we need one more thing to solve for it, and we can use acceleration to do that. So giving, when we solve for acceleration here, that's going to allow us to solve for delta x. So that's just my thought process going through this. So if we want to solve for the acceleration, you're just going to put the force in, which is 435,000. And then you're going to go ahead and divide by the mass, which is 300,000. And when you do this, you're going to the acceleration is uh, 1.45. But keep in mind, it's going in the opposite direction because we're slowing down. So the acceleration obviously has to be negative. So minus 1.45 meters per second squared is our acceleration. And now we can use one of the kinematic equations to solve. So let's just write down the other variables we have, though. We have the initial velocity is 27. That's the beginning of our interval. We have the final velocity, which is zero meters per second, and we're solving for delta x. So this is, uh, we're gonna need an equation with all these. And so the equation we're gonna use is this one right here. V squared is equal to V sub zero squared plus two A times delta x. So we need to just plug in and solve now. So V is zero, so zero squared is still zero, equals V sub zero squared, so 27 squared, plus two times A, which is minus 1.45, and then multiply it by delta x. So minus this to the other side. So you're gonna get minus 27 squared equals two times minus 1.45 times delta x, then divide by this. And then, yeah, so divide by this. And what you're gonna find is, so keep in mind the negatives are gonna cancel here. So you're gonna do 27 squared divided by two times 1.45. So you'll get delta x equals 251.379 and so on. Uh, what you can do is just round to 251. So basically our position in this time is going to change 251 and then the units are meters. So uh, your answer to this problem is going to be 251 meters. And looking at our thing, we can see C is that. So your answer to this problem is going to be C. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.